Hey, welcome to this video tutorial. Today, I'm gonna talk about detecting overfitting in logistic regression models, uh, training versus validation analysis. So before we dive into this tutorial, you can watch the previous tutorial, how to prepare data, churn, customer churn data using, and how to train the model using logistic regression model. And I continue, uh, detecting the overfitting uh, models in the logistic regression. So you have to watch the previous video tutorial. You can find the link in the comment box of this video tutorial. Okay, let's dive into the uh, log uh, detecting overfitting. What is overfitting? Yeah, overfitting is uh, the most common challenging uh, in the machine learning and statistical model. Uh, basically occurring when a model learns the training data too well and capturing noise and random actuation rather than the underlying patterns. This uh, phenomena can lead to poor generalization where the model performs well on the training data, but poorly on unseen or new data. In this introduction, I will explore the concept of overfitting, its causes, and how to detect and mitigate overfitting. Overfitting occurs when a model is too complex and that fits the training data closely, but it fails to generalize to unseen or new data, that leading to a performance drop on the validation data set. Uh, what are the causes of overfitting? The cause of overfitting is model complexity. Complex models with many parameters, for example, deep neural networks are more prone to overfitting. And the other is insufficient data. If you don't have insufficient data or you have small data sets that are more unsuspectable to overfitting. And noise in data, random noise and all layers in the training data can mislead the model. If you are uh, not understand about how to detect all layers. You can uh, watch a previous tutorial how to detect all layers in the training data set, and I'll put in the comment section of this video tutorial. Okay. And the other uh, cause of overfitting is lack of regularization. In the logistic regular uh, logistic regression, there are uh, L1 and L2 regularization that help prevent overfitting by penalizing complex models. So those are the causes of overfitting in your logistic regression model. So uh, how to detect overfitting? The first one is training and validation curves. Plotting the model's performance on both training and validation data sets can reveal uh, overfitting. So overfit models show a large gap between training and validation uh, scores. For example, you can see this, uh, the training and validation accuracy. So they have a large gap between training and validation accuracies. So this is uh, overfitting which means there are the causes that are overfit your models means, for example, if you have insufficient data or noise in the, in the data. And cross-validation using K-fold cross-validation help system is how well the model generalized to unseen or new data. Uh, so overfit models have varying performance across all these Matrices and evaluations, uh, for example, accuracy and F1 score on validation of this data can highlight overfitting when compared to training data performance. So let me show you the code uh, about the, this. I just show you uh, by applying uh, a regularization uh, parameter like C. Uh, so in this case, uh, C is a hyperparameter that represents the inverse of the regularization strings. This is the inverse of regularization strings. It is used to control the amount of regularization applied to the logistic regression models. Uh, so in the context of logistic regression, it is used to control the amount of regularization applied to the logistic regression model. And the C in the logistic regression, the C parameter, uh, hyperparameter is important because it helps us uh, to balance the trade of between the fitting the training data uh, and the uh, data and the pre uh, preventing overfitting, okay? And in this case, uh, I'm just uh, use different uh, C values and iterate over uh, each C values and train the models 
by uh, using different C values or uh, C parameter, hyperparameter. So I just store the training and validation scores in, uh, in this over by training uh, each uh, parameter. And here you can apply the accuracy scores. Uh, so accuracy scores are appended to the list of training scores and validation scores. The validation score is, uh, which is the testing score or unseen uh, data. Then finally just stores uh, I mean, plots the diagram that shows the uh, C values and training score versus C values uh, validation scores. So uh, you can see that the blue lines represent the training accuracy. So the training accuracy is uh, it is over uh, uh, 60%. So uh, when the C values represent contains a range of possible values for the C high parameters, uh, this one, which is uh, the inverse of regularization strength. Uh, for the uh, C hyperparameters that will be used to train them multiple logistic regression models with different levels of regularization. So the smaller the C values, you can see 10 minus 3 is uh, the smaller the C values. And the model will be canalized more for having uh, large coefficients, which tend to simplify the model and prevent overheating. Uh, uh, if the T value is uh, less, the slower or the lower the T value, the higher the accuracy of those meters, and the gaps are very close. But the higher the T value, uh, you can see the training, the testing data, the accuracy of the testing data is very low, and uh, the accuracy of the training uh, data is very high. So they have. Uh, large or gaps between the accuracy of training and validation. Therefore, this is called overfitting, the sign of overfitting. So if they have uh, gaps between training and validation uh, test or accuracy, so the data is, uh, or the model is overfitting, overfitting. So how can you uh, mitigate the overfitting uh, model? The first one is regularization. Regularization introduces penalties for large parameter values to reduce more complex, for example, L1 and L2 regularization. So how to apply regularization to uh, uh, reduce the overfitting, especially in the more complex uh, data models. And feature selection, you have to identify and remove less informative uh, features to reduce uh, noise. You can uh, plot uh, different visualization before in the training data set, and you can understand the number of the future that I think uh, uh, has less information, and you can remove them. That is another mitigation uh, solution to over mitigate overfitting. Uh, so you have to collect more uh, data. If you have insufficient data, you have to collect additional data can help to model model generalize data. And simpler models, consider using simpler models architecture or reducing the number of layers or parameters. That is also another uh, uh, solution to mitigate overfitting. And in simple uh, method is combine multiple models to reduce overfitting and improve generalization. So those are the mitigating uh, way to mitigate overfitting. So uh, first you have to just you, you don't need to apply all at the same time that you can apply for example first you have to apply regularization to uh, reduce the model complexity if this is not uh, reduce the overfitting so you can uh, uh, check the future selection and you can identify and remove less informative features from your data if this is not also a solution you can collect more data especially small data it's uh, false uh, 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 just uh, small data, inception data is uh, one of the signs of the cause of uh, overfitting. So those are uh, the solution how to mitigate your uh, logistic regression overfitting uh, model and understanding overfitting is essential for building robust machine learning models. So you have to understand overfitting very well. So when your model is overfitting, so you have to understand by just plotting uh, the curve uh, uh, line. So this curve line uh, 
better to understand the whole thing because that shows the gap between the training and validation of pricing. And detecting and mitigating over the shows that modules performance well, not only on the training data, but also on real world applications. Like, uh, so balancing module complexity and data availability is key to achieving good uh, generalization. I hope uh, this uh, was helpful. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe in the right to comment under the comment section of this video. Sorry, I can't spoil it.